Hey Legionnaires and welcome back and we are here with something a little bit new today. Yes, we have a very brand new Game of Thrones mod here for you today and this is Ice and Fire Total War War for Westeros. It is a brand new uh, Game of Thrones like Total War mod and it's going to be worked on quite a lot unlike the old one which is Seven Kingdoms which you may be aware of I have featured quite a bit on the channel. This is a brand new mod, which is based more on the lore than it is on the show, which is something that I will point out to start with, um, which you may be looking at these units and thinking they don't look very much like the units from the show. It's because they're kind of going off more like the um, sort of the art and the um, and the lore of what uh, J.R. Martin would have like had the the units looking like particularly. So it's certainly very interesting. I mean, we've got some very cool looking uh, Tyrell Spearmen here that are marching forward, but they do look very, very cool. And yeah, it's still very, very early in the works. I can uh, send you the link to the Discord if you're interested in checking out this mod and also downloading the early early access sort of um, mod as well if you're, yeah, if you're interested in that sort of thing. Um, currently, there are a fair few factions done. There's about five or six that are sort of done and there aren't any sort of like minor factions mainly just the, uh, the larger houses are being worked on at the moment and being tweaked and stuff like that but yeah I'm really looking forward to seeing how this mod goes and there's also a big thing replays work as you can see here that was a big thing with uh, Seven Kingdoms though it was great looking uh, replays rarely work so it was, it's t difficult to um yeah to get to get battles from it so um, certainly it's going to be interesting, that's for sure. I mean, we've got um, a lot of different units over here. We'll go through them quickly. But yes, if you're in wanting to see more of this mod, then do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment to show your support. It really does mean a lot, and really does help out the channel. But yeah, we'll start, I guess, actually over here with, um, this is like with the Champions of the Stag. So this is like, um, this is House Baratheon, um, but like Dragonstone. This is like Stannis's, um, Stannis's like, um, faction, I guess you could say, his rebellion. Um, which look awesome. These are the champions of stag, which look great. Look at like that stag helmets. They really look awesome. I'm going to show a lot of other new cool stuff off in this, and I've got some excellent news about this um, about this mod as we go through the video. So definitely worth sticking around. Um, I've got some um, some behind the scenes knowledge that I've learned from the uh, from the devs. So I will be uh, sharing some of that as uh, as we go on through the video. So stick around. But yeah, these look awesome. The more champions of the stag there. Uh, we've got man Men at Arms over here, Dragonstone Men at Arms. I I'm presuming that's what um, MMA means. <laughs> I was thinking there's some sort of like, uh, it's not, it's MAA, isn't it? It's not MMA. That's They're not wrestlers, that's for sure. Oh, my gosh, but they look pretty cool to be fair, uh, marching forward. They've got like heart-shaped shields, I just realized as well. There's something a little bit, or well, some of them do at least, yeah. Look quite cool. Um, but yeah, they look awesome. Then what else we got back here? We got Rylor Lightbringers. So obviously, like Stannis is like uh, into like this, like the um, like the Rylor religion at this point. He's kind of believes that's, that's that's how his way of becoming king. Got more men at arms there. Yeah, plenty of men at arms actually. He's a pretty solid unit to bring. Then we got Kingsmen back here, which are um, a shock infantry unit, which is a th bit more of a thing in this mod. Um, is shock infantry. It's not really a thing in Seven Kingdoms, but my gosh, is shock infantry in this mod like scary. And look at them, look at them waving their sword around like they just don't care. What else we got out here? Dragonstone crossbows. Crossbows and archers in this mod still pretty strong, I would say. Um, in like Seven Kingdoms, they were really, really strong. But yeah, particularly um, like you, you were limited to like often like one or two units. But um, yeah, here they're doing okay. Um, yeah, Dragonstone crossbows. Um, they're pretty nasty. We'll see how they do today. And where is he? I mean, we've got Rylor's Chosen back here. So we don't have Stannis as a general. Um, I think they've had a few issues with some of the generals and like replays. I think Rob in particular was having a few issues. So yeah, we don't actually have Stannis here, sadly. That's a bit of a shame. Um, but yeah, it looks great, that is for sure. These Rylor Chosen. Is there more back here? Or is this just... Oh, this is Queensman. Okay, so we've got another unit back here. These just look like more heavily armoured... Um, but more like a mace man unit, like a heavily armored mace unit. That looks cool. Do like them. They are very, very cool. There's like f a couple of units of those, along with the Kingsman. Over on this side here, we do have like, um, Renly's. I think this is, uh, well, no, this is actually just, this is just, um, this is just Tyrell, sorry. I was thinking this was, uh, Renly's, um, like forces, because he does bring House Tyrell, uh, with him when he rebels. 
But no, we've got High Garden Knights. So quick, I think we had a quick look at those guys. They look pretty cool. They kind of remind me of the gendarmes, to be honest. Um, but just with like, uh, in like 1212, but just with Tyrell emblems on. What else have we got here? We've got High Garden Lancers. So they're a bit more of a like a lighter cav unit, perhaps. They have no shield. They just have a lance. Kind of makes sense. It's in the name. Um, they are also getting very close now. They're getting pretty close. They need to be careful. There's actually sta uh, champions of the stag here that could just pounce on them. But they're just going to go flying on in with their high guard and lances. Um, which I think, to be fair, they are now seeing all these champions of the stag and going, oh crap, we're going to get out of there. Also, it's a much larger unit, I think. 100? Yeah, 80 is a much larger unit. What do we got here? We've got Tyro Spear, Tyrell Spears. We've seen these guys. Kind of got that uh, Eastern European sort of sh shaped shield that uh, they do in 1212. It's still very cool. We've got Tyro Longbows here, which are looking, well, just like pretty simple, to be honest. we got, uh, they have got Tyro Swords here as well. Looks look great. I mean, the officers actually look awesome as well. I mean, like, look at the emblems. They've got the Tyro's, like, um, rose there on there. It looks great. I'm a, I'm already a big fan of this mod. It's like they put there is quite a bit of detail in there, and you know what? I quite like the like the more like law friendly sort of look. It is more like reasonable. Some of the the show sort of looks kind of looked a bit uh, too extravagant. You just think a bit hard to equip like a like the Lancer army looks great, but like to equip an army with that sort of like intricate armor kind of a bit unreasonable. A uh, high garden knights though look great as well. And again, we like the they got like the details on here with the the rose looking great. Well, there's lots of high garden knights, I think, out on this flank here, and more of those lances. So, yeah, I think we see most of the units that are here on the battlefield today. So, we'll quickly watch this battle before we move on to looking at some of the uh, factions and uh, going through some of those uh, details that I've uh, I've looked at already. One of the problems, um, I guess, well, one of the downsides, I guess, that we have with um, this new mod is that uh, on Seven Kingdoms, it's one of my more recent videos on it. They did do start doing historical battles. Whether they will transfer uh, across this mod, I don't know. Whether the um, the modders who are doing that will think, well, this this mod's getting a lot of love. Let's do it on this one. Seven Kingdoms doesn't have anyone really like updating it, or I think it's just a dead in the water mod. Apart from like sub modders that are doing stuff for it, no one's actually on the main mod doing any work on it. We've got Kingsman coming in now. These heavy shock infantry. Hope you're going to try and do some work. Um, certainly, this game plays very much like 1212 or Dawnless Days. Um, the shock infantry is good counter charge. You can see it a cav actually pretty well. The crossbows kind of held their own as well. In fact, it's kind of a bit of a worry. But those lances, yep, routed pretty easily. It looks like the lances are being routed on the other side by the champions of the stag, which seem like a very scary unit. They are 60 man, so the smaller the unit in the tell, usually the more elite it is. Um, so they do now have the cavalry advantage on this side. So now uh, Tyrell's going to have to split his cavalry's uh, forces. But uh, yeah, so we'll have to see how that goes. And more cavalry actually going in here. Is this another lance unit? Yeah, another lance unit going in. Really wanting to break these crossbows. Um, yeah, I don't know why. I guess just because the cavs are on this side. Really, I'd be hitting this infantry, this men at arms infantry that's ahead of them. Because I personally think that's better than what the like Tyrell's brought. Like the spears. Is, I don't know. We'll see. But it's getting very chaotic, chaotic down here, and I love it. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited, really excited to see where this mod goes. And if you've got any questions, I'll see if I can answer them. If not, I can, uh, like in the comments, feel free to uh, answer. I'll try and answer them. Out of control? Okay, so these cavalry can go out of control. I guess because they're champions of the stag, maybe like fanatics or something? Like fanatics of, um, of Sanuses? That's kind of really bizarre. Yeah, kind of cool though. We've got spears going in here, these dragons, so men at arms will probably beat them, I think. Swords usually beat spears anyway in Attila. But yeah, if you want to get involved in some of these battles as well, I'm planning to do some scenarios, I think, with this mob because it is really, really cool. Feel free to join the Discord, the link is down below in the description. You're more than welcome to join and get involved in some battles if you'd like to. We've got uh, longbows breaking back there as well. And we've got some uh, Rylor Chosen coming up. That general is still very healthy. Looks like we might be able to see the High Garden Knights hit them. General is very vulnerable to the uh, Knights there. He is a small and probably elite unit, but like that's a bit small. They're double the size. And if he gives a good charge off, uh, they will do very, very well. I love that they've got like... Um, it's not a really good example with the uh, high, high Garden. But yeah, certainly like 
the different helms like that they've got go like going on is great and they they've said that they're going to try and do more and more of that as well like add like dragon helms and like if there's like a certain house there's like yeah there's like a certain animal like notoriously on the helm they'll try and add it to like certain units which is great like small details like that really make these mods it's like that's what like separates like 12 12 and dawn stays apart um it's like the small details they really help uh, we got these um yeah they're gonna have to send in these swords because uh, these yeah queensmen and men at arms are just breaking through these queensmen look awesome actually possibly my favorite unit i think armored maceman unit they look great but again with the emblem on their chest it's like small things like that. Like, if you didn't add that, it doesn't look as good, personally. Like, if you just have, like, a, a guy with just a plate steel armor on, a bit boring, and looks really savvy, you need to add, like, details like that just to try and um, visually make take the uh, mod to the next level. And visuals are a large, large part of modding. Got well, Spears rejoining the fight. Again, though, no, I don't think they're going to do too much. They're already breaking. It's not a good sign. So they're doing okay on this side here, though. Champions of the side going out of control and are dying. Um, High guard on knights in here. Tyrell's swords. We've got the dragon so men at arms are helping in that fight. Archers are still really nasty, though, like I did mention earlier. They need to get good uh, flanking shots for them. High guard on the lances out here being dealt with by Kingsmen. Uh, really, they should have cycled out. Um, these Kingsmen, I think, are the same ones have been fighting all game. So really, they need to cycle out your cavalry. You do lose some of the cavalry, like in most Total Wars, when you cycle out cavalry. But you get so many more kills. And I was really scared for a moment there that it was going to crash. We just a little stutter, but um, I have had a few issues with replays. But not, like, not many. Um, I realized how to... Uh, most of the, the old maps, because they have got the old custom maps on here, like Golden Tooth and various of the... Uh, like maps that you can find on the workshop, they all been uh, imported onto this mod. They don't really support the replays, unfortunately. So they, those maps need redoing for this mod in particular, and that'll be. And then we can have like custom maps and custom battles, well, like well, custom battles on custom maps a bit better. Uh, we've got archers and stuff back here. They just aren't firing. These entire longbow need to just start firing. They had some pikes them, because most factions do have pikes or halberds. Certainly I know that um, Tyrell actually has some really elite pikes. Um, and some really elite shock infantry, which they didn't bring. Um, which look pretty cool. They're like armoured, and they're like covered in like flowers. Kind of a strange strange thought, but it is. they do look quite cool. But yeah, some like uh, pikes or pole arms would certainly help win this fight uh, much quicker. And... I mean, yeah, Dragonstone didn't bring any Kingsman here. Are starting to lose, though. The Cav there did die, but it's re-rallied, so it might be able to cause more threats. We have got the High Garden Knights here in combat. Um, Tyrell Longbow is back there. I don't think they brought any of their unique bowmen, because Tyrell does have a unique bow unit. Um, names escaping off the top of my head, but um, see, these new units are still quite new to me. I haven't quite learned them all. But they do have, like, a, an elite bow unit of their own. Yeah, they are very, very cool. Yeah, we'll just fast forward a little bit because uh, we do have other things to look at uh, at the moment. And as you can see, the uh, I think Tyrell is going to lose this one. Their general is starting to waver and is uh, breaking there, in fact. I mean, their infantry line as well was holding on. And there you go, general's fallen. Um, that's going to cause general to start to... Uh, well, infantry to start to waver. 108, 118, and that's starting to waver. And enemy generals died to fair as well, so they did kill off um, the Rylor Chosen there as well. So, I mean, both sides were very close to killing each other off here. Um, I don't think that's going to affect too much. Tyrell doesn't really have enough to uh, to change the fight, but, I mean, you could charge these uh, these archers or these lightbringers, um, I guess, and try and do some damage. Um, but they seem like they're pretty good. I mean, they're light, but they seem fairly well armoured. Um, and they seem like they can take a charge pretty well, but to be fair, this is a depleted Lancer unit. But yes, there you go. It seems as though the, the mopping up's just happening now, and yeah, these units are just hitting the, the like, the High Garden Knights and what breaking them. They were still healthy, though, at 60. Again, I would maybe have cycled out once that infantry was in there and reused it. But there you go, a close defeat for House Tyrell in this one, so we'll end the replay and have a quick look at the end results. Uh, this one was sent in by uh, Jack and Hagar, who is the main modder for... Um, Ice and fire. So yes, thank you very much for sending this one in, man. Uh, well done to Toki for winning. 
Um, we got 106 kills with some longbows, 127 with some knights over here. Oh, the lances, sorry. Um, yeah, infantry kind of got just swamped. Um, on the other hand, the crownlands here, um, with the like with Stannis's rebellion, getting 110 kills with their queensmen here, 116 with the kingsmen. Uh, like 100 kills with these light rings, 156, 120. Jeez, these light rings are good. Um, Dragonstone Men at Arms getting 162 kills. And there you go, that's kind of like really it. Um, anyway, we'll quickly um, exit out of that. And we will. I mean, there is the. Like, that is what you see when you come uh, load up this mod. Looks pretty awesome. I'm liking the emblem, to be fair, as well. Um, hopefully, they don't get in trouble for that. I mean, it is a little bit similar to the Game of Thrones look, but hopefully, it should be fine. But anyway, we'll go to Custom Battle um, and we will have a look. So, yes, we have. Um, a fair few factions, same sort of factions that you have in Seven Kingdoms at the start. Here, they kind of gone with the same sort of uh, look. So you've got Beyond the Wall, which hasn't been worked on yet. Dawn, which has been and is basically complete, or for House Martell anyway. Um, whether they'll add more heroes. Um, we've got Essos yet to be worked on, but they're going to see a lot of cool stuff there, including like um, the Legions of New Geese are going to be added. They're going to be like a faction that's going to be like um, involved in that. And then... Who else we got here? We've got the Crownlands. I imagine we're going to see, like, uh, the City Watch in, like, Kingsguard and stuff like that added. And maybe also just, like, um, Crownland, like... I would have like to see minor houses that are in the Crownlands as well being put in there. But uh, we'll see whether they get added in as well. We've got the Iron Islands. Um, so we've got House Greyjoy. Whether we'll see some of the more minor houses in the Iron Islands, I don't know. Uh, the Reach. There's loads of... Um, oh, I guess we'll use this side. The Reach. Um... Again, you can have loads of minor houses there. The Reach, one of the largest kingdoms. Um, but yeah, House Tyrell, pretty much done. Uh, the North, or House Stark, pretty much done. I don't know if they're going to add more. The units, it seems like a smaller Ross than some of the other ones, but maybe that's what they're going for. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, they look pretty awesome, that is for sure. Um, I think also in like Essence, we can have like things like Yeeti are going to be in there. I forgot to mention. So they're going to go like and use like factions that just aren't even like really mentioned. Um, only just like in passing maybe because yeah Yeeti is kind of like a bit of an unknown faction but um, like in the show but in like lore it's known about quite a bit and they speak about it um, in passing uh, House Tully uh, is done for the Riverlands and again it kind of looks like there's a small ro a bit of a smaller roster but it looks pretty solid to be honest they got some rangers so some pretty elite archers there um, we got the Stormlands so that is this is Renly's um, like Rebellion, this is so it looks quite cool. Whether we're gonna have like just a like a um a, just a normal Stormlands army, like a a loyalist, like just I don't know, I don't know how to describe it. Like before the rebellion, just the Stormlands one. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but there are they are planning to do other areas, so you will probably see like a Roberts Rebellion Stormlands being put in here and um, stuff like that. So yeah, I certainly know that other areas that they're planning on doing. Um, if I can just find. Um, my notes are certainly like things like the Blackfire, Robert's Rebellion. Um, I think we're going to see House of Dragon as well being put in. Like those sort of eras all being put in. Um, so this is going to be great um, to see. I'm yeah really excited to see this. Um, like you can then have other heroes, other ha like houses will be added in. Um, whether they're going to be like um, um, like I don't know if they can like change um, like what campaign it is like if you could just add like a little tab that has different campaigns you could have house of dragon you could have game of thrones you could have blackfire so you just have the different areas all separated or what because having them all like together could be a little bit messy i mean the veil is actually the only one that has a minor faction unit and it's house grafton i don't know about house grafton but they do have their marines available uh, house Aaron though is uh done and dusted and then we have the westlands with house lannister of course uh, being done and dusted and like I was saying most of the maps are here so we've got Battle in the Ice, Battle of the Oscro uh, of Os Oxcross, don't know why I'm struggling to say that, Dornish Pass, um, Battle of the Trident, things like that all are there um, so yeah that is always good to see but they are not really working um, so far there's no campaign but they are planning to add one and they're planning to um, sort of like export the mod over to uh, Thrones of Britannia they're saying and from what I've read, to uh, to like to make the map, um, I will put up a concept uh, sort of map that they have about now. Uh, hopefully, uh, to to show you what it's going to look like. Obviously, it's unless um, Dawnless Days releases their to like campaign tools and like how to change it. They like the two mods are talking uh, together. The modders I've seen, um, and so maybe 
Dolan Stays will allow them to use their tool to uh, edit the map and so we can then have a Westeros and an Essos looking map instead of just using the Isles of Britain. But yeah, I mean, if they uh, um, imported the mod over to... Uh, to, uh, to Thrones of Tandia, that might bring more attractions to that, that game, which would be great. Um, but also, I think uh, it'll be interesting to see how it works and um, whether they have to redo models and stuff like that, because very different sort of like era and look of mods uh, are like models. So like everything's like more like a Viking. Um, whether that will take some time, I don't know. Um, or whether it's just for the campaign, like whether that's perfectly possible, viable to do with the models, and then it's just for the campaign, whether they think modding. Uh, Thrones is campaigns easier or than a Tehillers, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to see how this mod goes. Uh, I've got a I haven't really got much more to say really about it. There, like I said, he's planning on getting like maybe a campaign in the next, uh, like in at least another year. It would take before the campaign, and he's got lots of other work to do. Uh, Jackin says he's got to do, but yeah, it looks really good. Um, he's working on it constantly. I've been chatting to him over the last couple of days. Seems like he's been like getting really into the sort of work and yeah the mods looking good so far i mean we're in like really early access we're like 0 0.012 or something like that so we are very very early in this build and um, there's loads of ob obviously houses that have to be added um, like bugs have got to be changed um, maps that need to be made so yeah a long way to go but i hope you guys have enjoyed this sort of early access to it um there isn't much else to say really about it i don't think um at the moment i will keep up to date and keep you updated with it um and probably do some replays i've got a few replays that i could show off so if you guys wanted to see some more like battles on it on this mod then do let me know i would be uh, more than happy to show them off um but yeah until next time legionnaires i will see you in the next one uh, i hope you enjoyed the video and yeah if you're looking forward to the mod let me know until next time bye for